she got married. But after a while, she became a slave. If she didn't go, she'll be killed or she'll die. She ran away out, no shoes, with no nothing. And she nearly been crashed by a car. And then she came to claim asylum and she got referred to us. When we seen her, she didn't have no belief in herself. She didn't feel that she was worth anything. Worked with her and within six months, she started learning English. Her ambition started to come back. We managed to move her to her own place then. She got her asylum claim and she part of her citizenship. And when she moved to her owners, she was like, I never imagined the day that I will be walking in the street and buy a pint of milk. Um, and that's to her, it's the huge success. If anybody's watching this or has gone through it or is going to go through it, um, they need to know that they're definitely not alone. This is happening to a lot of people and there are people dedicating their lives to stop this. A community is actually supposed to bring you closer together and collectively make a difference for the better. But on a base of use is doing exactly the opposite of that. It's tearing communities apart and it's tearing families apart and it killed my sister. The reason I started to speak up about this is because uh, I went through my journey of trying to deal with what happened in my family and what I'd seen and what I'd experienced and it came to a point where I realised that it's happening to a lot of other people and I can't just continue living my life pretending it never happened. So um, I started speaking about my sister's story and I started speaking about my own experiences in order to help other people. I could never imagine having to go through such a horrible thing and it's not just like a one, one time thing because like it's going to impact you for the rest of your life. You are really brave. 